Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm doing um, a, a review of the D2500 from yesterday. Man, what a <laughs> awful race. I'm sorry to say it, but it was not the best race I've seen in a long time. Um, not a great way to start the year um, in many ways. The biggest for me is um, I would have rather see them move the race to tomorrow instead of almost 12.30 because I actually did not even want, I had to watch the ending um, right before I went to bed because I fell asleep the last 20 laps mainly because the racing was so flipping boring the last stage between that the 6 hour rain delay and the two crashes as well um, yeah and I would say Toner is always going to be the big one but well, why so flip why so early with the um, first big wreck in a glad 15? You took out 15 drivers, and the majority of those drivers are drivers are good, including one of my favorite drivers, Laney. I'm just like, what the heck? I, my, um, when the racing did get started, it took a little bit, it took like 15 laps. To get going before it went back to green. Um, Handling one, one, uh, one both stages. The only thing that was pretty interesting is Michael McDowell winning the 500. If he missed so, now he's qualified for the playoffs, which they need to change that. And they need to fix, they need to bring the restricted plates back to these cars because two years, two massive bad wrecks, and I'm glad Brad and Bush both got a car is okay, but it was it could have been totally unavoidable if he did something different. This uh the top ten of this race was um of course Michael McDowell, the winner. Chase Elliott was close to winning this race, with Austin just right behind him. Kevin Harvick had a pretty solid day. Hamlin, by far the best car. I hate to say it, so he was the best Toyota and best car all day. Um, Priest had a pretty good car. Ross Chess Jane was pretty surprising, so was Jamie McMurray. I was really happy for those two. Corey LaJoy, I was also, also surprised he went to the top 10. And then my uh, other favorite driver, Larson, who had a pretty good car finishing the top 10. Um, but that fire record end was just. I didn't like it because two years in a row now we had two massive crashes at the end of the 500. This is why the 500 is no longer my favorite race of the all year that goes to the Indy 500 because something like this. NASCAR needs to fix this stuff. It's just. Yeah, we haven't had a driver die in almost 20 years now since Dale and her stuff. We came close last year. And we're lucky we didn't have anyone go to the hospital this year. Um, yeah, I'm kind of, it's not like, I didn't want to have a rant as my first NASCAR review of the season, but hopefully the, the world course is better t next weekend, but we'll see. Anyways, um, videos are back to normal this week. Um, speed week is over, which I'm glad it was not a good speed week at all, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, um, tomorrow will be top tens finally after two weeks of waiting. Um, Wednesday, movie reviews, we'll be back, then the music, and then Friday, that we'll be back to normal with, uh, hopefully a video. It should be a God's Day versus Con, leading up to the movie next month, in March, so. Hope you guys have a good day, and, um, I'll talk to you later.